It hoped for $5 billion, but today the Palestinian president, Mahmoud Abbas, left the international donor conference in Paris with pledges of $7.4 billion. Gait Alamari is a former senior advisor to the Palestinian president. I asked him if the Palestinians were happy with that response. Yes, um, basically uh, they've got the financial aspect of things covered, I think, both in terms of development, governance and uh, reform. Now we have to look at the two other legs of the formula, progress on the political negotiations and progress on the security uh, realm. Well, as far as uh, the U.S. certainly is concerned, mm. uh, one part of what was hoped to have been achieved today was the shoring up of Mahmoud Abbas's presidency. Do you think that's happened? On the short term, yes. I think the injection of uh, funds into the Palestinian territories would help uh, shore up Abbas and uh, uh, Prime Minister Salam Fayyad. In the long term, though, this is not sustainable without a uh, viable peace process and without progress on freedom of movement and removal of checkpoints in the West Bank. If we have these three elements, I think this will definitely shore up Abbas and support for his government. Were you surprised by the comments coming out of these talks uh, on the political track? Uh, quite a lot of criticism directed at Israel. I think there's a statement of realization that uh, money is, uh, is not enough to resolve the issue. This is not a financial or technical issue. This is primarily a political issue. And I think this is what we heard, that money is a good uh, stabilizing factor, but ultimately you need bigger progress and Israel has to do its role. Now, money is certainly going to be used politically on the ground uh, in the Palestinian territories. Mm -hmm. It seems unlikely uh, that, the, that the Gaza Strip, where Hamas is in power, is going to see much of right. it. I mean, we have to differentiate between the Gaza Strip and uh, Hamas. Uh, men, lots of this money will go to the Gaza Strip, to the residents, both in salaries and in subsidies and in uh, aid, but it will not go through the Hamas government. The minute Hamas accepts the two-state solution and uh, rescinds violence, it can become uh, a part of the process again. Until then, it will, have to, it will continue to be isolated. And presumably donor countries are going to be watching very carefully the situation on the ground, mm -hmm. and particularly as, uh, as, as far as Hamas is involved, to mm -hmm. see whether or not they're actually going to follow through with their pledges. Oh, absolutely. Um, there have been pledges in the past, and if progress on the ground fails to materialize, then obviously the money will not uh, materialize either. No one wants to throw their money down the drain. Guy Talamari speaking to me just a little 